Hey everybody, Paul here with Epic TCG. Welcome back. We are going to open up our third box of Masters 25. We are having a ton of fun opening these. I've taken the liberty of taking the plastic off of this box. Now our last box that we opened up, we only got two mythics. So I'm um, hoping that we can kind of reverse the trend here. Uh, we have averaged two foil rares per box. Not sure if that's normal or not. Um, but that's what we've gotten so far. So that has kind of been a saving grace. Um, and we've, we've actually gotten decent rares as far as the foil rares. Hey, we are off to a good start. Pact Indigation is a great rare to start with. Street Wraith is our foil and a morph token. Um, but yeah, only, only two mythics last time, which was kind of a bummer because our mythics were not so great in the last box. Now, our first box, we had really good mythics. So, um, you know, you win some, you lose some. Still hoping to pull like one of those really high dollar mythics. Uh, Jace obviously would be awesome, but, um, you know, would like to see the Ensnaring Bridge, Chalice of the Void, uh, Vendelion Click. You know, any of those would be cool. You know, hey, I. You know, just a thought. There's, what, three Mythics per box? And we're short a Mythic in the last box. That means maybe four Mythics. You know, we could get all four of those things. We could get Jace, Ensnaring Bridge, Chalice, and Vendelion. All right. Miko Koro, Center of the Sea. Red, whoa, Red Elemental Blast foil. Sweet. That is an awesome foil. That's actually a very valuable foil, even though it's a common. That's going to be worth a lot more than most of the rares that we get in this box. Okay. Pillage. Love that card. Uh, there we go. Heavy Arbalest. Nyx. Blood Moon. Another good rare. Well, we are off to a good start. And I see what's hiding behind it. I see that foil. Do you guys see that? Flooded Grove foil. Sweet. So we've gotten a flooded grove in every single one of our boxes, but now we've got it in the foil. That is really awesome. So I like this land cycle. I really love getting that foil land. That's that's just always fun to me. All right. Renewed faith. I have renewed faith in these boxes. That's what it is right there. Getting that pack we just got. Okay, we have Blightning, which is, to me, just seems like a fun card. Maybe it's overpriced. I don't know. Hey, Cas... Uh-oh. I must have put an uncommon in with the commons. Cascade Bluffs. That's our second rare of the box. Of course, one was foil. That's the red-blue one, which is awesome. God's Willing is our foil. And Morph. We get more Morph tokens than anything else. I don't quite get that. Let me dig out that uncommon here before I lose it. Uh, there we go. Curse Catcher. Okay. All right, we can continue now, now that I have done that. The Feng Shui of the packs is back in alignment. All right, let's see. I'll have to try and make sure that I don't do that again. Hey, Curse Catcher, right there on top. No, it's the Uncommon Murder of Crows. Vindicate, another good rare. Great usable card, great utility card. Death's Head Buzzard, we've seen him before in foil. And the Skeleton, that's awesome looking artwork. Who is making those skeleton tokens in this set. I don't know off the top of my head. The Moog Flunkies. Let's see. Oh, you know, it's probably this card. Skeletonize. Uh, let's see. Skeletonize deals three damage. Create a woman black. Yep, there it is. That's what it is. All right. Now that mystery is solved, we can move on. We have Is It Chemister is our rare. And we got another awesome foil common, Brainstorm. Sweet. Great common. I'm going to have to look and see what the Brainstorm foil goes for. I have a feeling that's going to be at least a couple bucks, but I, I could be could be really wrong about that. Maybe uh, maybe that's been around a little bit. I would like to get a Counterspell foil. That would be pretty awesome. All right, Fiend Hunter, Mesmeric Fiend. So I can, I can hunt the Mesmeric Fiend with this guy, and I can Rancorize him. Okay, Phyrexian Obliterator, that is a great Mythic. That's about 
15 to 20 bucks. And KVU Predator is our foil. So no big deal there with the KVU, but the Phyrexian Obliterator, definitely good. Wisp, Rancor, Flash. And then we have an Elbish Aberration. Or Aberration. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm looking at the Flex Phyrexian Obliterator. And I'm wondering, maybe I'm remembering wrong how good it is. Um, that seems like quite the downside to it. Ishin Shade, talked about that. That was going to replace where that was going to be like a new Jizam Jin kind of thing. It just cost more, but it had protection from white. Mystic Snake. Cool card. Go ship foil. We got that in the last box. I feel like I feel like we're getting a lot of things that we got in the last box, but we're getting them like a little bit better. Like better Mythic, better foil rare. Everything's coming up. Paul. All right. Zoetic Cavern. So this is... This is new. We haven't gotten this yet. All right, Morph 2. You may cast this card face down as a 2-2 creature for 3. Oh, okay, so that's where the Morph morph tokens are coming from. Zombify. <laughs> Quicksand. And a Korma, Angel of Wrath. So that is awesome-looking artwork right there. Um, I do not think that is worth much money at all. I think that's like a dollar. But that is awesome, incredible artwork. And... If Shannon were still playing Magic, boy, she would love that one. She liked the Angels. We have a Skirk Commando. Ooh, Kobold to Kirkheap. That's a buck. <laughs> Dollar token. So, cool-looking card. I just don't think it's worth. Diddly. But, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes things are that way. All right, there's another Zoetic Cavern. Swords of Plowshares. Willbender and Bident of Fossa. Unearth is our foil. And we got the wolf token. All right. We ended the last pack on Unearth. We have an Unearth right there. Doesn't really mean anything. Just kind of fun. All right. Simeon Spirit Guide. That is a good uncommon fiend hunter Genju with the Spires. Well, we get a lot of those. And we have Nicobolus as our rare. Act of Heroism is our foil. Nicobolus we got in the last box. He's kind of fun. Elder Dragon. I mean, I remember remember when those were like just such a big deal. Um, and everybody everybody wanted so badly to play them. They just, just games just didn't last long enough to get them into play and actually use them for anything. Because, um, you know, you'd spend like your entire turn like the entire game building up so you could get the mana base to cast one. You would finally cast one, and somebody would be like, okay, I'm going to tap one white and source the plowshare. <laughs> and that was the end of that. Living Death is our rare. And we got something really cool here. We have a foil rest in peace. So again, again, for the second time, we have gotten two rare foils in a box. That is amazing. That is incredible. And we have gotten two great rare foils in this box particular, in particular. Um, so this box has been great with the rare foils. All right. I haven't read this card. The Haunted Fengraph. Um, all right. I don't think that's that great of a card. It's okay, but it's not great. Noble Templar. All right, there we go. Bailoth, Null, Willbender, Cloudblazer, Gin or Grenzo, Dungeon Warden. We've gotten that one in every box so far. Sigh of the Shinobi foil. Cool looking card. I think that Grenzo is like a bulk rare, so not a real big deal that we've gotten it, but it could be worse. All right, Undead Gladiator. Ash Baron's good card. Fallen Angel. Sundering Titan. That's another bulk rare, I feel like. 
Shoreline Ranger. First time we've gotten that in foil. That looks pretty cool. And hey, two kobolds of care keep in the same box as far as tokens. Um, I feel like those are like rarer tokens to get, so that's kind of exciting getting two of those. All right. Knight of the Skyward. Uh, let's see what this dude do. Um, he's a 2-2 for one white and one colorless, and then for three and a green, he gets giant growth. Okay, but you can only do that once per turn. I was thinking he'd be a flyer because it's a, of this, you know, towards the skyward eye. Okay, all right, we have Mishra's Factory. It's only the second one I've gotten of those. Zombify, freed from the real, and Animar, soul of uh, the elements. This is our third mythic for the box, and I think this is another kind of low value one. I think this guy is like three or four bucks, so we definitely could have done better on the mythics. All right. Our foil is Will Bender and a morph token. All right, this is our third box so far of Masters 25. We have not gotten any of the big, like, Mythics yet. It's a little bit disappointing. All right, we've gotten this guy three times now. And Trumpet Blast, we've gotten that twice in foil. I feel like overall we've done fine with these boxes. I'm not, I'm not bummed or complaining about the boxes. I just feel like... We haven't, we haven't found like that one box where it's like, oh yeah, you know, killed it with this box. All right, Blue Elemental Blast. Hang on. Yeah, that's an uncommon. All right, Blightning, Genju of the Falls, or Rat Kitcher. Yo, you want to buy a rat? And then borrowing 100,000 arrows. And another Kobolds. We're going to make our money back on this box in Kobolds. <laughs> go Jalira polymorphist that is a new uncommon for us uh Iwamori of the open fist cool card human defector it's a new one too Chow. holy cow okay i was just sitting here talking about getting four mythics in the box and there it is our fourth mythic and that's one of the high dollar ones talking about you know haven't done so well with those there it is, right there. $40 card, Chalice of the Void. Sweet. And a wolf. To go along with it. Man, I feel like uh, I feel like between Chalice of the Void, our Rest in Peace foil, our uh, flooded, what was it? flooded Strand foil, um, I feel like that's like $80 worth of value out of this box right there. All right. Man, that's crazy. Man of War. I didn't realize that was in this set. All right, watch Wolf. Lightning Bolt, love Lightning Bolt. Promise of Brunei, Rugged Prairie. So, cool land, Vassal of Decency. All right, Crimson Me. Let's see, where's our uncommon start right here? Enthralling Victor, Utopia Sprawl, great uncommon. Another Lightning Bolt, Summoner's Pact. Hey, that's the first one of those we've gotten. That's a great rare. And then we have a Lull Foil, Insect. It's a cool looking insect. Carrion Ants is a card. It's just a stupid little card. Um, that's a card that they can reprint because that was that was uh, available in fourth edition. Um, it's from Legends. That along with Killer Bees. I would love to see both of those reprinted, just for fun, because now we can make tokens. We can, you know, we can have ant tokens. We can have bee tokens. I want an ant and a bee token. All right, Simeon Spirit Guide, Treasure Keeper, Notion Thief is our rare, right there. Soul Blight or Soul Bright Flamekin is our is our foil. And what in the world does he do that costs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Red target creature gains trample until end of turn. This is the third time this ability is really <laughs> okay. Wow, all right, so uh, 
So I guess you can you can add all kinds of red mana to your mana pool if you do that like three times in a turn. Interesting. Okay. Last pack for this video. This has been a great box. Let's see what we get here. All right, Deadly Designs, first uncommon. Cross and Tusker. Mesmeric Fiend, we have uh, Rurik Thar the Unbowed. So that is a new rare for us. We haven't gotten Rurik. And we have Self Assembler as our foil and a Soldier token. So there we have it. Okay, that was an awesome box. Um, we called it in the beginning. We said we got two Mythics. Last box, we're owed four, and there we go. Four Mythics right there. So uh, definitely, I think these two are kind of lower dollar. I think like this one's like a buck. I think this one's a couple dollars. That one is 40, and that one I feel like is like 15 or 20, but I'm gonna have to go check. It's bothering me that I don't know for sure. That, uh, that downside to it just seems like a little bit too crazy to, uh, to be a 15 or $20 card, unless the idea is you give this to your opponent and then do damage to it, so not sure. Oh, hang on. Whenever a source deals damage... Oh, that's... Okay, I got you. Okay, I see how it is now. Now that makes sense. Okay, so that, that is that is the $15 or $20 card. So, all right, cool. All right, so awesome pack or awesome, uh, awesome box. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.